Roy Mayer, congratulations. Gold medal here in Antalya. How do you feel to stand on top of the podium? Yeah, it feels amazing again. It's been a while, so I feel awesome. Yeah. In the final, you were against George's Matiashvili. He won Tbilisi last week. He's a tough opponent. Uh, tell us how it was to fight him and what your tactics were going in. Yeah, I, today I had a really different attitude. Normally I'm extremely aggressive and now I feel really calm and excited to fight everybody and we're hoping, I was hoping to make good uh, throws. So I didn't get tired at all. So I was doing my fights, I was finishing it and I was also, uh, almost feeling sad that it didn't take longer to win. So yeah, I really feel like I could sprint a marathon or two, so yeah. Um, your last gold was at home, at The Hague Grand Prix. That was in 2017. It's a year and a half later, and this is your next one. Tell us about that journey and how it feels. Does it give you more satisfaction that you're back on top? Yeah, sure, for sure. Because uh, I had an amazing uh, period uh, with my uh, wife and my uh, two children now. So in the end of 2017, uh, my uh, first son was born, Mika. And uh, yeah, I really loved it, loved it. But it was, he's a very uh, busy boy and uh, he didn't want to sleep for one and a half years. So it was a little bit hard trying to manage everything uh, at home. And now he sleeps well. And I got my second son in uh, also the 14th of March. So, and this is a really uh, very calm boy. So I'm sleeping very good and I'm really happy. So now it's time for me to, uh, to really put the focus back on the tatami. And that's a different kind of role you're seeing now. And I'm planning to uh, uh, a Roy active uh, till the Olympics. So yeah. so, yeah, well, then what next? What's, uh, what's the plan for the rest of the year? And what are your hopes for this year as well as next year? Yeah, I'm going to participate in uh, Baku. I'm really hoping to be uh, one of the top con uh, competitors uh, there again. And uh, then the next uh, will be in uh, the European Games in Minsk. It's the second European Games that, is, uh, that will be held. Uh, so it would be amazing there to uh, be in the final and hopefully get a gold medal. That's my next aim. Um, I'm, I'm really so excited to, to try out new stuff and uh, win more golds. So, uh, yeah, man. So last question. Uh, tell us uh, why judo? What makes judo special or, or different to everything else? Yeah, uh, to me judo is really special <clears throat> because um, it, it, you can do judo if you don't adapt your uh, lifestyle. When you do judo, your lifestyle is gonna change, and uh, you you need to to really uh, find yourself and to find ways to to live life completely uh, with 100% um, focus. You when you have 1%, uh, you're not focused, and then you you will have losses, you won't be satisfied. So judo teaches you a lot about, uh, about life. And I think if you stop judo, and I see it with a lot of athletes who stopped, they always uh, have some experience with them that helps them uh, to the next level in life also. So judo isn't just a sport, it's, it's really a lifestyle. And that's, that's the most beautiful thing. You made me think of one more thing. When we see you before the fight, you are focused. You are really focused, more, more than almost any other athlete. Tell us about your mental preparation and, uh, and this focus. Okay, yeah, no, I really like to, uh, to listen to my music. I'm a music guy. And uh, yeah, sometimes I, I, I listen motivational uh, speeches on my, uh, on my phone you know, to get a little bit of uh, adrenaline up. And I uh, listen to very aggressive music. And then I always think back of where I came from. I think about all the losses I experienced in my youth. And at a certain point, uh, when I'm, before I come on the mat, then there's a big contrast from where I was then and where I'm now. So I really get excited. I feel the goosebumps uh, climbing up my spine and then it explodes in my brain. And then I'm really ready to, do, to give it my all. And if it, it doesn't matter to me at that, at that moment if I win or if I, uh, if I just gave it my all, then I'm, then I'm satisfied. And I just enjoy those uh, five or 10 minutes fighting. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Ray. Thank you, man. Amazing.